channel. I'm so glad that you are here. So today we are going to have some fun creating some organization for my new kitchen. I'll only share this video with you guys because we are going to get organized. If you know or if you don't know, we just recently finished our base cabinet. We're still in full construction mode with our kitchen for our base cabinets are done and it was time to organize. I'm so excited to have partnered with Cricut for this video. So thank you Cricut for sponsoring this video and I can't wait to show you guys what I created for my spice drawer. If you don't know what Cricut is, Cricut is a smart cutting machine that comes with a free software called Design Space that's fully free to you. You can pick your fonts, you can pick your images. There's so many creations there, it blows my mind. So if you're new to the crafting world or you are expert tutorials out there, they'll walk you through your process, the things that you can do, but the smart cutting machine walk you through every single step so you don't have to feel intimidated by it. It's also Wi-Fi enabled. What to do today, I'm going to show you guys what I did with my spice drawer. Um, and I'm so excited because that is my design, it's my creativity to do this because of my new Cricut machine. So let's dive into the tutorial. So every project starts in your design space. So I'm in my design studio right now and I'm going to go ahead and write my first spice and I'm going to select the font that I want. Remember there's thousands of fonts for you to pick from and also you can purchase and download some as well. So I'm going to select the font that I want for this particular project. And and to save on timing, you will see me copy and paste the same item so I don't have to go back and find the same font. So I just copy, paste, and then I change the, change the name of the spice. And then I am going to repeat the same pattern until I'm done with all my labels. So once I'm done with all the labels, I'm going to send it now to my Cricut and this machine is so small, it asks you every single step of everything that you need, like what vinyl I'm using. So for this particular project, I am using the Smart Permanent Vinyl. So I select that and it will let you know what you need for that particular vinyl. So it does all the work for you, you don't have to feel intimidated. Just have your Cricut ready, have your vinyl and now it's time to feed it to your Smart Cutter. Another thing that I love about the Cricut is that once you are feeding your vinyl into the Cricut, it measures the material to make sure you have enough vinyl for that particular project so you never have to worry. It's definitely a smart cutter. It allows you to create so many personalized gifts. Like think about a DIY Mother's Day, Mother's Day card. You can create like flowers with it. You can create t-shirt. You can create so many beautiful, memorable gifts and personalized gifts for yourself and your family members. The possibility are endless with what you can do with your Cricut, not only from like personalized gifts, DIY floor mat, t-shirt, you name it all, but also staying organized, you guys. My goal this year is to stay organized. And the one way to keep my family involved is by labeling everything. So from my linen closet to my pantry, my spice drawer, cleaning closet with all my cleaning supplies just label where everything goes so everybody has the same um, vision think about it for my OCD moms out there or anybody that's OCD like once everything is labeled and everybody put that stuff in place it just makes life easy so now that I have my labels all printed out I am just cutting them individually before I use my weeding tool to remove the excess vinyl and then we are going to transfer it into a transfer tape and um, work through the next process. This smart cutter can work with over a hundred material from cardstock paper, vinyl, iron, glitter paper, bonding fabric and cuts up to two times faster. So definitely check the description box for every single thing that I use here. There's so much that you can use and material that you can use to get crafting and bring your vision to life. I just absolutely love it. And these are the jars that I will be using. And remember everything will be listed down below. So I really wanted this to really pop with and go with my home aesthetic so I went with a white vinyl to make this black jars 
definitely stand out. Let me know your thoughts. So below. the next step after removing the excess vinyl, I'm going to cut a transfer tape, just about the same size as each label. And I'm going to apply the transfer tape onto my vinyl. And I'm going to use this cute little tool and also press onto the transfer tape so pretty much to have my labels transfer into the transfer tape if that makes sense so final step once you have your labels into the transfer tape you are going to apply it in my case I'm applying it into my spice jars so I'm laying it back straight down and we're gonna use the same technique with the same tool so I repeat the same process for each one of them it was not time consuming at all and it was easy to make so once you have everything done you just peel it off and you'll see your containers are nicely done and what makes it so cool is that you can pick any font so if this font does not suit your bubble you can do that you can pick different colors as well depending on the vinyl that you select obviously um, so yeah I love love the simplicity of them you can make it wow you can make it like simple I really really love the fact that this was my creativity I keep saying it's my creativity and I'm obsessed with it so let me know what you think of my design I absolutely love it um, I think it fits my home aesthetic you guys know I'm obsessed with black and white so just having the pop of black through the lid and then also the white label just give a little juice to my spice drawer I wanted this to be like my spices that I use on the daily when I'm cooking to be closer to me so this was the fun part, just transferring all my spices into these jars. Let me know when you shop for your spices. I typically love just buying the bulk at Sam's or Costco, but sometimes I don't find exactly what I'm looking for. And the fact that my family do bring me spices for my country, I'm able to also create labels for them. So I love, love just having that convenient space just in my island, just for all my spices that I use on the frequently. I don't know if you guys like trying spices, but I have spices from Morocco, I have spices from Jamaica, and also from India. I just love, love, love spices and also trying different recipes. So how cute is this spice rag? I love it. I'm trying to organize it by color and also by usage. So I love how it turned out. And also got a knife rag just to keep my knife there. So this drawer is going to be just all prep. So I have my knife and also my microfiber cloth for spills. So I just love, love how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below. I absolutely love how everything turned out. Thank you so much for Cricut for sponsoring this video. Also check my description box down below. I'll have the link to my Cricut machine. And also thank you guys so much for watching. They have financing available on their website. I see you guys very soon in an upcoming video. Bye.